So one more update on the off-road Murray mudding mower. So here it is, loaded up on the trailer, ready to go. Uh, where it's going, well, that's for me to know and you guys to find out in the next video. But I'm just going to show you what I did, last minute things. I installed some grease fittings right there to pump grease into these spindles. This tractor never came equipped with that, so I put them in. You can see everything, the front bumper, the chassis, everywhere has been pretty much painted. It's got a brand new battery on it, DECA. I didn't get a uh, Interstate or Die Hard like I wanted, but this was a good brand, so uh, they convinced me to buy it. I painted the battery supports, pretty much the whole fender and chassis. I didn't paint the hood. Um, you can see inside there, she's got a brand new filter and pre-filter for the air filter. I got a new tube for the front wheel. I think it was the other side actually that was bad, but I painted the wheels. Painted the back ones again. Um, installed some fender flares. And what this is, is actually lawn edging. And what I did was, I basically just rolled these fenders. I cut a series of snips and then bent the steel under so I had a flat surface because this comes down straight, as you can see. So I used pop rivets and washers after I bent the steel down and just pop riveted the whole thing right to the tractor. And it's, uh, it's on there really sturdy. It's fairly rigid, but it's, it's pliable because it's rubber. So it's pretty cool because uh, if I hit stuff, it'll just kind of bend out of the way and not break off or rip off. But hopefully this will go a long way to uh, keeping me from getting completely covered in mud. As you can see, they overhang the tires just a tiny bit. And on the back, just enough. So I can probably still produce some rooster tails. It's really, really cheap stuff. You buy this roll, I think it's like 12 feet that you get for like 8 or $9. And that's what it looks like, the cross section. You know, it's just got the lip. And you, what this is actually for is putting between flower beds and grass to keep the grass from creeping into your flower beds and stuff. And a lot of guys actually use these on Jeeps, you know, as makeshift fender flares when they put the offset rims. So I kind of took my cues from them, said, hey, well, if it's good enough for a Jeep, it's good enough for an off-road lawnmower, right, guys? Yeah, everything got painted on the fenders and chassis, basically. I even painted the underside, the spots that were rusty and crappy looking. Everything in the steering has been greased. The steering is just beautiful now. Um, it's strapped down now, so it's not as easy as it should be, but the steering is just awesome. I love it. It's never been this good, so I'm pretty excited about that. Like I said on the engine, haven't done much to that. I put a new air filter on there with a new pre-filter, like I said. Changed the oil. I topped off the oil in the uh, transaxle in the back, so that's ready to go. Yeah, doing good now. This thing is all set.